What's up guys, Patrick from B Squared. Today we're gonna to be doing another beginner track guide and this time it's for Toronto Motorsports Park, Cayuga. So let's get right into it. Approaching turn one, we're gonna find these little white lines on the ground. These next three are going to be my references. So I'm gonna break between these first two, which is located on the exit of this pit lane, as you can see like the dotted line. And then I'm gonna be turning in at the last one. I'm gonna aim for an early apex, trying my best to be doing one steering input and one throttle application. I'm obviously shaking the wheel a little bit and pumping the throttle too much, so it's wrong because turn one is quite bumpy. So if you're asking so much of the car, you're doing too much work, the bumpy road is gonna counteract your inputs and it's just gonna slow you down some more. I could have carried a lot more speed by not being so shaky. If I had been smooth with it, it would have been better. As we approach turn two, we're gonna look again for these white lines on the ground. There's three of them here. I'm going to be breaking in between the first two and then turning in between the second last one. We're getting on top of the curb. A tip, when you're exiting this curb and approaching the entrance of turn three, if you have to accelerate excessively between these two points, you've pretty much overslowed the car. So what you can try is doing most of your braking in turn two, but trailing it into the entrance of turn three. Tracking out to the left side, we're going to late apex right on this big mound on the curb. Exit about mid-track and bring the car to the right. I think I turned in a little bit early because I want to aim ideally for a late apex. Reason being is if you understeer the corner or apex too early, the car is going to be on the right hand side and it doesn't set you up well for turn 5 which is a tight radius corner because you'd have to do the tight radius corner and wait to get on throttle essentially after turn five has already completed. If you apex turn four later, you can get on power way sooner, even before turn five even starts, and hold the throttle all the way up until turn six. So early throttle, I only lifted the shift up and then committed through the throttle. I understand a little bit, but that sacrificed the line for the sake of being committed to the throttle, generating more speed. Turn six, I turn in a little too aggressively, but I'm definitely just trying to prioritize a late apex. So once again, late apex for the sake of getting on throttle early and maximizing the length of this reverse straightaway. Tracking all the way out to the right side. We're going to watch out for the curbing in the chicane. It's very bumpy. You don't need to attract them too aggressively. Turn eight, we're gonna do a geometric apex. I'm gonna get my left wheels on top of this curb, and then I'm gonna position the car at about three quarters of the way over to the right side, not going all the way because you need to quickly get over to the left side to enter nine. Another note for turn eight is I'm flat as soon as I apex, and I'm committing to it all the way into nine. Turn nine here, I'm doing a late apex and trying to reduce my steering on exit so I can stay flat for longer. Turn 10, I'm flat here even with Prius tires. It works. Turn 11, you can sort of sacrifice this first curb for the purpose of prioritizing the last curb. You want to apex the last curb sort of late so that you can get on throttle even before the curbing and use the curbing, it's pretty flat, pretty safe if you take it with late apex. And that's pretty much it. That's how to set a decent lap at TMP Cayuga. In this case, I did a 123.276. A quick tip if you're still learning TMP, when in doubt, late apex aside from turn one. Have fun, be safe, and make sure you're only passing on the straightaways. Do not pass in corners. Another small tip, TMP is very heavy on brakes. So if you've been doing a lot of laps, you may lose the brakes entering turn one. Turn one is quite a meme spot for people going off, or I've seen videos of people actually riding the hill on the exit of one. So definitely know your car's limits. Don't be out there for like 20 laps. You will not survive. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe, of course. We're gonna be uploading way more track content, more track guides, tire temperature data system, data analysis tips, we got all this stuff here for you at B Squared. If you're serious about driving and you want to get the most out of your track days, click the link tree in our description where you can find the syllabus to our applied motorsports data course, where we're basically going to teach you from start to finish the 
steps to collecting data, analyzing the data, and making actionable change to help your driving and help out your car. Check it out. I'll let the course speak for itself. The curriculum is there in the description.